My name is Nat Mansker. I'm the supervisor too for the NEAT team. And we're here at 10.30 p.m. to do our night shift. So now we're gonna go over to the meeting place for my crew at the area that we call the cage. How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you. Start, yeah. you know, we're starting on Mission Street, about 7 on, Sycamore. Okay. And um, then we'll do 24 fly lack all the way. What's that? What's the game plan? Uh, start at Stevenson. Yeah. So this machine is a Ravo. They're made in Holland and we ended up purchasing four of them for my crew because we felt they'd be ideal to do the work that we do in the alleys. I cook dinner, my wife comes home, we hang out for a couple hours and then I go to work. I leave for work about 9.20 and then get here a little bit early every day and start the process of getting everything going. Some nights we go out and it's super quiet, nothing happens, and other nights all hell breaks loose. Oh, he took my hand and he talked, he talked, I get a knock in my knees and a wobble in my walk and I'm scrambling. Right now we're headed to what I call Ground Zero. That's uh, Stevenson at 7th Street. That street has been the bane of my existence since I started at Public Works. This is very typical of what we see every night down here. Alright, here we go. So what he's doing right now is filling the truck up with water. Our trucks have two tanks. They have a lower tank and an upper tank. And uh, the, the bottom tank holds about 300 gallons and the top tank holds 300. We'll use all that water in the next three, four blocks. Hey guys, hey, we're coming to clean here tonight. We're gonna wash this all out, so you, you probably wanna set up somewhere else, all right? You got about an hour. All right. Generally from 2 to 2.30 is lunchtime, and uh, that's when we, you know, eat or whatever. Most people bring something. I bring the LaCroix soda waters because I don't want to get diabetes from sitting in my truck and drinking soda all night. And then uh, for food, usually I bring fruit and things like that. This is very typical of the debris that we'll find in an alley. They'll cook up heroin in this right here. That's what that's used for. I have to be real careful touching in there. There's all sorts of hypodermic needles, personal products, condoms and stuff. And then my crew is right behind us, so they're going to come and they're going to pick this up. I wake up, hopefully, around four o'clock in the afternoon. When I really wake up, is usually somewhere around one or two. You know, all the things that go on during the daytime don't stop because you work at night. Plus, there's the, the light factor. You know, I have blackout shades and blackout curtains on my room, and still, if you get up for any reason during the day, you're exposed to the light and then you can't go back to sleep. Hi, I'm Royal PD, also coming to Six and Jesse here, where it's just right here on the corner tonight, we're homeless. All right. So the police have come to assist us in uh, getting these tents to move so that we can clean the block. It's not so much that, you know, we're not trying to force them out or re relocate them to another area. They just have to move while we clean the street. And all the tents on the sidewalk impedes our cleaning. So 
that's why we're trying to get them to move for right now. One of the best parts about working night shift is you get to see sites like this that very rarely does anyone else get to see. So over here is the pit where we clean out our trucks in the morning. See there, they hose them out, dump the garbage right there. fairly successful evening nobody there was no accidents no real incidents no overall terrible problems you see that sunrise you know what that means it means it's time for me to go home